Before I get into this video, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers, and if we get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll give away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom, a Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED, one of those exclusive pins from PAX East, and more. We got some giveaway events in the works for you guys. Nobody can enter the giveaways yet, but I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, and we will get into more details after we attain our goal. What if I were to tell you that... There are a couple things happening in this upcoming week. A couple of things. Now, I want to note that I was originally going to start this video wearing an entire suit of tin foil, uh, along with a tin foil hat, because we, one of the things I'm about to talk about we need to take with an extreme grain of salt. We got some rumors here on a Tears of the Kingdom event or some sort of thing happening th this week. But... There's also an additional story I want to put in here that is about much more than this event. And it's something I've already talked about. I just now have a time frame for when this is happening. Now, the first thing we get into is the rumor about the event this week. So my primary uh, source on this is Mike Odyssey, who has had a couple of sources tell him some, something's happened this week. He seems, he seems pretty confident something's happening this week. But he notes two different possibilities that could happen. Uh, one of those being essentially a Tears of the Kingdom Direct. I know some of you don't need any more information. Some of you are good. Some of you would absolutely love a Tears of the Kingdom Direct where they can show us, you know, 30, 40 minutes of gameplay and story details and system work. And, you know, I don't, they could just blow us out like they did back at E3 2016 uh, with some of that Nintendo Treehouse stuff. Of course, it wouldn't be as in-depth as the Treehouse stuff back then because that was over the course of several days and several hours, but it would be kind of cool. And we have gotten game-specific directs about a month out from launch for mini games: Splatoon 3, Pokemon, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So it, it wouldn't be out of the norm for Nintendo to do this, and we have been targeting that April 12th specific date now uh, for a, f a few weeks, I noted a while ago that, hey, I do think if there is a Zelda Direct that makes sense, that's exactly one month out. It's on a Wednesday, which is super convenient. It also is right before Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp comes out, and then that can come out, and then when you're looking at right after that, it's a little too late at that point to do a dedicated Direct, in my opinion, but... Yeah, April 12th really felt like it made a lot of sense, and now Mike Odyssey has some sources that are saying April 12th. Now, he did note that he has one other source saying that while something Zelda is happening this week, it probably isn't a direct and would actually happen on April 14th. Now, in this case, that could just be a new trailer drop, a commercial, something like that, where there would be new footage, but it, it would just be on a smaller scale for that Friday. Now, it's really interesting because Nintendo doesn't typically do directs and or release new trailers on a Friday because it's actually Saturday in Japan. But you know what? It is possible, and I'm not going to rule out anything because these aren't my sources. But remember, take all of this with a truckload of salt, put your tinfoil hats on, uh, and, 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 and just be skeptical because I'm skeptical as well. But I would really love for that Zelda Direct to happen for sure. That to me is right up my alley and would definitely make my week. Now, another thing that I do have, I, I've actually heard this from a personal source, a, a few of them, because I've been reaching around wondering, hey, when's the next big thing happening with Tears of the Kingdom? And the next big thing that a lot of my contacts are focusing on isn't Nintendo doing directs and stuff like that. It's actually... Nintendo having a demo event for Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I mentioned yeah, last week that Nintendo was going to do this. They actually do this with most of their games. So this isn't like, oh my gosh, breaking news, Nintendo is going to have a demo event for Tears of the Kingdom for certain select media. Yeah, of course they are. They do this with every game. But I mentioned that it would probably be happening pretty soon and that we would start to get preview content out of that before the end of April, and it looks like, from what I'm hearing, uh, it's this week or next week. Basically, within the next two weeks, Nintendo is having a demo event, and I'm hearing it's going to be actually pretty small compared to other demo events. I don't know why they're not letting more media in to play this. Maybe they're afraid of leaks, but then again, it's a demo event, and you're usually allowed to record footage and all this stuff, so I'm not really sure why they would be worried about leaks coming out of it, because it should just be stuff they're okay with the public knowing about anyways. But uh, maybe there's maybe they just want to have a smaller uh, amount of interview requests and stuff like that. 
or maybe Nintendo just has a smaller team managing this here in North America. Either way, uh, it would just be the North American demo event I'm talking about. There could be one in Europe as well, one in Japan, etc. So we could get uh, you know a broader scope coverage of this demo event. But typically, when you go to these demo events, and I can speak from experience, uh, you sign an NDA when you get there. Sometimes you sign the NDA before you get there. And yeah, you can't really do anything with whatever you hear about, whatever you talk about, everything you see, everything you play uh, until certain dates. They'll have like, hey, here's a date when you could do your preview of this. Even IGN first that have happened in the past, some of that was just they were allowed to release information before other companies that were at the same event. Give you an example, Sonic Frontiers. They were able to show footage and do other things with it, even though everything they had access to was the same access everyone else had. Uh, but they got permission to release that stuff before others, and actually ended up hurting Sonic Frontiers, so they probably regret that deal at the time. But the point is, these demo events are completely normal, and this is one that's happening very, very, very soon. And if you are curious, I am trying to get in. I'm just throwing that out there. I doubt it's going to happen. Don't expect Nintendo Prime over here to slip into this demo event and give you exclusive coverage but I am trying, if that makes sense. No guarantee anything's going to happen, though. So, um, and, and if something does, I can't tell you about it anyways. You will just know when it does. Like, if I'm not in it, I'll probably just say I wasn't in it because I'm not under NDA. But if I am in it, I also can't say that I'm in it, right? So, we're just going to have to leave it at that. At the time of me making this video, obviously, I'm not invited. But if I get invited, I can't talk about it. So, <laughs> just... Just, just being honest with you guys. You guys know I'm, I'm pretty transparent. All right. Uh, so that being said, it does sound like we obviously have a lot to look forward to with Tears of the Cover, uh, Tears of the Coverage, Tears of the Kingdom footage, and Tears of the Kingdom information over the next few weeks. Right. I kind of mentioned by the end of April we should have all the information out of these preview demo events. There'll probably be another trailer and or a Zelda Direct, which is now rumored for the upcoming April 12th. And yes, that we could obviously end up adding a lot more in May, right? In May, you're going to have official previews from review copies. We're going to have reviews. We're going to have interviews dropping. So when we get to May, it's going to be blowout city because they're in the final launch period for Tears of the Kingdom. So almost every day, it's going to feel like we're getting new, new information, new little tidbits from interviews. But uh, when it comes to April here, I do think things are going to start ramping up in the second half here. Although, again, if we get a Zelda Direct this week or something Zelda happening on the 14th on Friday, that would be really cool as well. And I just have to wrap my mind around all of this sort of stuff. But uh, we're just going to kind of leave things at that. I have another video I need to get done for today. It is Easter around here. We do celebrate Easter and my family, it's okay if you guys don't. It's totally cool. It's technically a religious holiday, and we don't talk religion or politics here. But for those that do celebrate it, happy Easter. For those that don't, just have a wonderful Sunday. It's a beautiful day out here in the state of Wisconsin. I don't know what it's like where you live, but finally we have a warm day after being in the 30s for like nine months. So, whew, pretty happy about that. You guys are awesome and amazing. I'll catch you in that next video. Peace out. Peace <laughs> out.